What's happening? This your man, Sean Fallion, SFBE. If you don't know what that means, it means Sean Fallion, be everywhere. And right now, we at Hip Hop and Lunch. Came through for your listening party at uh, Fly Kicks. Yeah, great event, great event. Thanks to the likes of you and Fly Kicks. Shout out to Ebony and Fly over there. Yeah, man. So, yeah, you know. Shout out to everyone who came through. Definitely so, everybody that came through. It was, it was good to see who really messed with the movement and messed with uh, Sean Fallon, So Yeah, and I wanted to talk about, so you played a couple tracks at the party. Yeah. Sean Fallon be everywhere at three, do me no favors. I wanted to talk, like, what's the title mean to you, especially, like, this time you're saying do me no favors. Like, why did you decide to go that route? Oh, uh, man, you know, uh, well, first and foremost, it's not because I'm, like, a bitter, haven't, hasn't made it yet rapper. It's just really, man, you know, my... Uh, my, journey, my struggle, my journey was my own the past couple of years of trying to get known and trying to get the music to the right people. And like within within that, a lot of people came into play and came into the picture that didn't really help the situation. They more so heard it. So it's kind of like, you know, do me no favors, man. You know, I feel like favors are always things that be that are thrown out there to you to be reciprocated and not necessarily in a positive manner. So, you know, it's like, do me no favors. I pretty much went at this project, recorded it by myself. You know, I got the I got a, my homie I've been working with helping me on the engineering, and um, I always ran, I went back to Fabian Williams for the artwork, but I also you know did some of the uh, worked on did some of the coloring and stuff on the artwork as well. Uh, man, been pretty much throwing my stuff out there to press and really doing a lot of stuff on my own with a little help here and there. So it's really been like I said, do me no favors, man. It's just it's like man, if you got ill will and ill intentions, and stay the fuck away from me. So. <laughs> That's what it is. Always. And you yeah. mentioned, like, Fabian Williams. Like, yeah. I know you work with them on all the Sean Fallon Be Everywhere projects, and all of them have dope artwork. This one in particular, you guys went, went the extra mile with it. Like, what you, uh, what's the meaning behind, like, your beard this time and the, the uh, colors man. and everything? Well, uh, this time, uh, really, it's like... Uh well, first it was a pencil sketch, you know, and uh, the, the actual drawings in my beard just represented, like, the different temptations that I had, you know, while, while doing this. Like, people offering me money for certain stuff that really wasn't going to be a, a beneficial for me in the long run. Uh, you know, just women and different people coming into my life that just wasn't going to be a good look to even be, you know, affiliated with. So I wanted to make sure that that was in my beard, you know, like... And stuff they people you know think that you as a rapper should should have or should want you know when it, when you make it you know which is it's different for everybody but you know media puts it out there like yo you gotta want that Benz you gotta want a bunch of jewelry all that bullshit so um, that's what's in my beard man and then uh, the coloring and like if it being red and my eyes being whited out is just basically like me being oblivious to the bullshit in my beard beneath me or whatever. And, you know, they say your strength is in your beard, and if they try to take away the power in my beard, you know what I'm saying, that's all the bullshit in it, you know, grabbing at it and, you know, trying to take it away, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, really, that's what, the, that's what the cover was. The color is, like, red. I wanted to make it just, you know, really intense, you know, and it had a the calm background so it could show more detail in the design that Fabian did, you know, and, give, and really give you an idea of art because I am an artist outside of uh, just being a musical a music, a musical artist. I am a graphic, a graphic artist as well. So. Right. No, yeah, a lot of your uh, designs on those shirts and everything, you know, a lot of people fucked with that originally Yeah, yeah, well. Sweet Jones, man. You know, we, we gonna come back soon. <laughs> you know, I had to take a back seat real quick, but working on the music. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about one of the songs, A Mouthful of Lies. Like, you know, you're talking about the industry. You sound real angry on that track, man. Like, <laughs> you said it's all, people telling you it's all about timing. Like, what were you going through when you wrote that, man? Oh, man, you know, it's just like, it's just funny to me, man. You know, you got some people that just, just swear they know stuff, you know. I feel as though it's not about timing, man, you know. And if it is about timing, you don't know that. I think that that's something that God knows. Now, if you sat down with God in a room full of grandfather clocks and stopwatches and was like, God was like, yo, dog, it's all about timing, man. And you came back to me, and you had video footage of that and was like, hey, yo, God told me it was about time. And we sat in this room, grandfather <laughs> clocks and stopwatches. Then I might be like, all right, you know what you're talking about. But for a lot of people that have said that to me, you know, it's about timing and this is that. Are people that don't even know if they're going to get their check tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Don't know if they're going to wake up or be able to afford their rent tomorrow. So I really, man, you know, I, I, I think everything is about the higher power, you know what I mean, about God. And I just, I leave it in his hands, you know what I'm saying? I do stuff and hope that people receive it well, but I don't know when it's going to blow or if it's going to blow. It's just, it's a feeling that I have, but I don't know. So it was really like that whole, you know, you hear that a lot from different people that I think that's just an industry BS term. It, the 
tell you that they can't really fuck with you right now because of political reasons or whatever, whatever. You know, it's just, it's the world, man. You know, life. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to talk about the video real quick, too, like, with yeah. the picture frame and coming towards the screen. Like, whose idea was that, man? Oh, uh, man, Matt Swinsky, man. He actually shot the, he did the video. Him uh, and uh, my homie Bobby, uh, Bobby Finch, they shot the video, directed it. And, uh, you know, I had an idea, and the, the song kind of gave him the idea, and uh, we just incorporated it into the picture frame thing, the Unfinished. It's uh, based off of an art piece called Unfinished. And uh, I might be getting that wrong. Don't quote me. But uh, it's, uh, it's it's just a dope piece of art. that's basically like how the how the frame stretches out in the video and just continues and continues. To me, it just really meant like you know, the further I go in this industry, it's always going to be some type of bullshit you got to deal with. You just got to keep you know, just got to prevail over it and keep it moving. And uh, they the, what we incorporate is like the, the women, you know, the, the temptation of women wanting jewels and wanting things that kind of put you in a certain aspect like if you listen to the second verse it talks about a rapper gaining and losing and and not really be looked at anymore because he didn't have what he used to have or what y'all thought he used to have and you know it's just uh they came out with a came up with a sick visual man shout out to matt swinsky he did really dope on the rendering and the editing and it's just a crazy visual man so if you watching this go check out mouthful of lies later uh, yeah, he he makes some good videos, man. I saw what he did with Ritz and that white yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Ritz, he did the everything. Ritz white Jesus video. That's actually that's the first video I saw him doing. I was a fan, you know. But I've all, I've known him already. I just that, that was the first piece of work I saw from him. It was pretty dope, man. He said he did some promo stuff for the movie Snow on the Bluff as well, and it, and it came out pretty dope, man. So it was an honor to work with him and uh, Bobby Finch. Yeah, and I wanted to talk real quick. Like at the listening party, you let us hear some of the tracks that are unreleased, and I wanted yeah. to talk about Trumble uh, Humble real quick, like. Uh -huh. Real triumphant sound on that one with the <laughs> horns and everything, man. Like a lot of people were feeling it. I wanted to know, like, what's the motivation behind that humble track? Uh, man, it's really like uh, it's gonna surprise people because the, the title is definitely opposite of what it is, man. I just got a feeling like you know, uh, people might say I'm humble, you know, and I really and I appreciate it, you know. But it's a lot of people that call themselves humble and they not. So I just really, it's really, I say fuck being humble, but I don't say fuck being humble to the regard of being an asshole or anything. But it's like sometimes you just wanna. You just want to just, you know, brag a little bit and just say, hey, man, you know, I mean, this is my life. This is what I'm doing because you might hear a person over here just bragging and boasting and really flexing about shit that they ain't doing when you're really doing it. But you the cat that's quiet. You know, you like you like the Bill Gates. You know what I'm saying? Like, you let people talk for you. But then sometimes you just want to be like, hey, man, you know, fuck this shit. You know, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm This is what I'm doing. I'm working hard. I let everybody know. And then you want to go back to chilling, you know. So that's really what the record is. It's just championing all the hard workers and the people that actually do some things that don't get credit for it. And, you know, just, you know, sometimes you just got to stand up and say, fuck being humble, fuck being overlooked. You know what I'm saying? It's more so fuck being overlooked, you know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of people that get labeled as humble get overlooked, you know. And that's just like the, the pat on the back or the pity party they throw you when they say, oh, you're so humble. So, you know, that's what it is.